Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you have a BMW Z4, guys, and I'm talking about both generation E85 and E89, guys, and you have problems with the purge control valve and you have a code P0443 or code P0444, stay with us and we'll explain, guys, how to test your purge control valve solenoid and know if it's good or bad. Now, that same, guys, valve has been used in multiple BMWs. For instance, on BMW 3 Series, it's the same thing, but many of you ask me for Z4 because there is very limited amount of videos and help on the internet how to test purge valve it's practically the same procedure and we'll show you guys how to do that today and you know for sure if it's good or bad now quick introduction to the channel every single car we get at the shop guys we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos on bmw specifically we'll have more than guys four to five hundred videos why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return guys please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you need to buy a new purge control valve any of the parts tools that we use guys or replacement parts for your bmw z4 check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we purchase all that from for a really good price so this is out of a six cylinder engine guys okay six cylinder engine this is actually the n52 engine but if you have the n53 or even other four cylinder engines the procedure will be the same guys and we'll show you how you can actually go ahead and test your perch control valve let's explain what it does quick guys that perch control valve for instance okay it's mounted right there on that six cylinder engine under that plate under the throttle body and it okay that pipe that inlet pipe that's for the throttle body right there okay right here that's where that inlet pipe goes so what this valve does okay uh, when you put gasoline in your fuel tank guys what will happen eventually it evaporates and creates pressure there is a sensor in the fuel tank that when it creates pressure it tells that valve to open and that pressure and fuel vapors from the fuel tank come to the engine they're injected in the intake manifold and they burn through the engine guys and what happens your car is more efficient you have more horsepower and you're not losing guys fuel and uh, you're not polluting the atmosphere so that's the purpose of that valve but it can fail in two different ways and we will show you today guys uh, make sure to stay until the end i'm going to talk about that more towards the end now something very uh, easy to misdiagnose make sure you stay until the end even if it's a good valve you may still get those those codes and i'll explain why you guys have two wires okay two wires one is positive one negative you can actually flip them it doesn't matter as long as you don't touch each other because if you do you will burn your purge control valve guys and you can say bye bye to that valve so we will go ahead okay Use the alligator clips. You can find where we got them from in the description of the video below, guys, if you need to get alligator clips. And we'll go ahead, okay, and install them. Perfect. Now, this is the inlet pipe. You can see, okay, how it goes. And this is the outlet pipe. So, right now, guys, that purge valve should be closed, guys. Okay, that purge valve should be closed. If we apply 12 volt supply, okay, to it, we have a Okay, right here we're going to have a 12 volt on the car outlet, but I'll recommend to use a car battery. You will hear the valve clicking. Listen now. Okay, clicking means that it opens and closes, but does it actually open and closes? When we do not have any power, if we spray some air low, low pressure air, it shouldn't come out of here. When we apply power, it should open and air will come out of here. Let me get a piece of paper to demonstrate that, guys. So check it out now, okay, we don't have power, okay, and when we put the power on, okay, this is a very low uh, grade paper, but it definitely, guys, you definitely feel the air coming out and you can hear it. So definitely, guys, a good working purge valve. Now, what else could go wrong, guys? Okay, it can fail in two different ways. One is stuck open, one is stuck closed. So let's talk about that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the wire, so i can show you i just dropped our so now he can guys fail stuck close is when the valve does not open at all you will easily get a code for that 443 or 444 uh, and uh, when you apply power it will not open or air will not go out sometimes the valve will be messed up it sounds like it's opening but it's not another thing it's if it's uh, stuck open guys uh, it will not close at all it will be open all the time but sometimes okay what is hard to diagnose it might be a good valve okay clicking 
check the airflow it could be a broken cracked uh, hose somewhere or the o-ring right here may be leaking as well guys and the car may have may develop a vacuum leak because of that so always check that guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time